Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, going through the book of Psalms here on Coffee Break. We come today to Psalm 18, 34. He teacheth, that it would be God, God teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of bronze is broken by mine arms. Sometimes God helps by a miracle. More often, he gives us the strength and the wisdom to do what we need to do. Either way, God deserves the credit. 35. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath held me up. And thy gentleness hath made me great. Salvation, the salvation that God gives us through Jesus Christ, is a shield. In other words, it protects us from anything that would keep us out of heaven and send us to hell. 36. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them, that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet, for thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those who rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy those who hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small, as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out like the dirt in the streets. So much for what is promoted by Christian psychologists so-called today, you need to develop the feminine side of your masculinity, guys. Yeah, we have a lot of feminized men, so-called, in modern evangelicalism. Uh, David would scoff at that sort of nonsense. Did you read these verses with me? Did you see how God gave David's enemies into his hand and David beat them to powder? You know, if David doesn't do it, it's not God's fault if David doesn't enjoy life. And we need to beat the tar out of our sin nature, meaning don't give in to it. We can never be happy as Christians unless we determine to squash our sin nature by the power of of God, which is the cross of Jesus Christ. 43. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the peoples, and thou hast made me the head of the nations, a people whom I have, excuse me, a people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The foreigners shall submit themselves unto me. The foreigners shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. The evidence of God working in David's life, because David was walking with the Lord, because he was so close to God, and God therefore worked through him as he prayed to God, and the evidence of God's working in David's life caused others to respect David. They probably didn't like David, if they could have killed them, him, they would have. But they didn't dare try because they knew that Almighty God was on David's side. And they also had to admit that whatever it was that David had, it sure worked. And what he had was God. And I'm out of time. And if you want to continue studying the Word of God with me from Genesis through Revelation using my audio Bible messages, you can do it at thebibleversebyverse.com. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break, 5 Minutes with God. So long, everyone.